Welcome to another one of our videos. I'm AJ from Savory Thoughts and today we are about to do a barbecue sauce. Now there are a variety of barbecue sauces out there and depending on your preference, all right, some of us like it spicy, sweet, me, I like it a little tangy and with a little kick. So our recipe is on the savorythoughts.com website. Go up there, you'll be able to see step-by-step -step instruction. It's actually very quick, something you can make probably within 10, 15 minutes. Um, I like uh, the only alteration I'll do, and I'll show you when I'm actually making it, is on the kick side. The cayenne pepper is on the recipe. Um, you can't omit it if you don't like it uh, with a little kick, but I do. It's fun, sweet, kick, and slightly with a little sodium in it, you know, that salt and that sugar mix. Uh, tastes pretty good. We are going to start by chopping up our onions. On our recipe, we have a small onion. So since this is a big one, we're going to cut it. Pretty much you want to mince it. If you have a um, food processor or chopper, it'll be a lot quicker. Just use those. Onion has a nice sweet flavor, the aroma. It does really well in the barbecue sauce. Now what's good about this, the barbecue sauce is also vegan. So, which means it's friendly for everyone. And then we'll mince our garlic. So, the reason why we are using fresh onions and garlic is because it intensifies the flavor. You wanna really taste it. So, as far as the herbs, I'm using a combination of fresh and dried herbs. For the fresh ones, we got it from our garden. So I'm gonna rinse it real quick, and then after that, we're gonna step in my office. Let's rinse it first. All right, now that we're done, we are done rinsing it, step into the office. So we use about a tablespoon of olive oil. I don't need a measurement just because you know what a tablespoon looks like, not a whole lot. Quick stir for it to be translucent. You don't want to overcook it. Feel the aroma. And now we're going to add our um, garlic. Just about three to four cloves of garlic will be sufficient. Mm. I wish you guys could smell it. And now we put in our ketchup. And now we're gonna add our molasses. Look at that. It's not pretty already. Now, as you're doing this, make sure that your fire is on uh, medium low. Because you don't wanna boil it, you wanna simmer this bad boy. So now, we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients parsley. basil and then our fresh herbs and stir all that goodness together but try not to break the twigs so be careful as you stir it lastly we're gonna have we're gonna add our lemon juice now I add an old lemon on there because the lemon juice not only gives it this acidity and it gives you that nice, beautiful, not overly lemony flavor that pairs well, especially when you do a good barbecue ribs or you know, chicken, whatever it may be. All right, so I told you guys that I do enjoy a little kit. On our recipe, we have the options to put cayenne pepper, but I'm actually putting half of a uh, 
a scotch bonnet pepper on here. If you don't like spicy food, I will highly suggest that you don't break it. I enjoy the little kick, so therefore I broke mine um, so I can get the flavor and the spiciness. But if you don't break the pepper, or you can go for the cayenne pepper like we have on the site, and that would alleviate you know, how much heat is in it. If you don't break the scotch bonnet pepper, what happens is that you get the flavor without the spiciness. Um, the spiciness comes actually from the seeds inside of it and I want to taste it and now you put it on simmer really low heat let it simmer for about five or six minutes and mwah, we're gonna enjoy some good barbecue today all right so it's about that time for us to check on it to take it out so let's see where we are oh now, as soon as you open it, you should automatically feel the aroma of this. If you can smell it, that's the flavor you're gonna get. Mm. So that's what you're looking for. Let's take this outside and put it in our grill, chicken. All right, so we've already grilled our chicken. We've basted the barbecue sauce like you guys saw earlier. So now, tasting time. It's time to taste to see. You know I'm getting excited, right? I'm getting excited because I know how good it tastes. So let's go, let's go, let's get into it. All right, just eat this piece here. All right, let's bring our barbecue sauce over here. Just a little small basted on that little piece of chicken. All right. Now let's try it out. Ooh, it's hot. It just came from the grill. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All that goodness flavor that we had going on in there. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, then you have the, uh, the scotch bonnet pepper that, you know, you can feel it. I think you guys will enjoy it. Oh yeah, it's good. Hopefully you've enjoyed this um, as much as I enjoy making it. You can enhance your barbecue, your grilling very uh, quickly in just about 10 to 15 minutes in preparing the sauce. It goes well with pretty much any meat that you throw in on the grill. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. If it's your first time around, please subscribe. Don't forget to view our website at savorythoughts.com for more sculptures recipes. Thank you for joining us.